So we're going to come in, and I'm going to track from here. You had your distance pretty good that you had the edge of the metal right towards the edge, right about there. You don't want to go much further than that. Right. So that was good. So coming in, tracking in through, what we're looking at is if you have one hand that steers with an index finger, you'll find that you have really good control side to side, and then that will help you with your distance. This hand is only going to support. This hand is steering. Once you get more than halfway, you can then steer it with that hand and support with this one. If you have two hands steering, you'll find you might struggle and, and fight each other. So I'm going to rub in as I'm coming down. I'm going to go right to the end. I'm going to support it in the middle a little bit more. Did you see the flop that we had? You don't want to try and get flop in it. So you want to be at least to the point. So we're going to run in, run back out, run in. See how close I am with my wheeling marks. So I'm traveling backwards and forwards and coming across that panel and keeping all my tracking marks overlapping just a little bit okay. each one. You see how that is? Yes. I'm also coming to as close to the end of the panel as possible without running off. So okay. you can see I'm within three quarters of an inch and you have about an inch and a half. Okay. So see if you can try that for me. Because the whole idea is that we're going to go as smooth as possible and uh, keep up close and slightly overlapping each one. And then <clears throat> do you see how the panel is starting to drop over? So you'll need to bring your steering hand further forward so that you support it just a little bit more. So it keeps the panel coming out a little bit straighter. So you're doing good, traveling backwards and forwards across there. And you get an understanding of how much um, pressure. And you'll be able to see how it set the panel. And then we'll come in with higher pressure to start wheeling some shape in. But we'll uh, see how much shape is going in there. So it's a 5.0 wheel that we're using with the <coughs> roughly an inch and a half track to get the shape in. So you, sh you see the shape coming in. Mm -hmm. So as, as that shape comes in, you can get a relationship to how much pressure and how much shape you're going to want for this one. So you can see the shape is starting to come in. The shape that you want is quite considerably in the center it's a lot more so you got you got the idea you got <coughs> the means to be able to say okay this is how much shape I've got so you're doing pretty reasonable so on this side so and two so the flat of this panel sits on the ground if you hold the two sides in, if you could hold that side, mm -hmm. you'll see how much shape you got. Yeah. So when it actually is held slightly flat, the shape, because it lays out a little bit more, becomes a little less, right? right. Okay then, so do you, <coughs> you want to continue wheeling and practicing, or you want to just jump in and do your panel? Uh, we can practice a little bit more. Just a little bit more? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I want you to get comfortable with it. It's a... Uh, <coughs> Not the same as your English wheel, you probably feel a lot right. different, do you? <coughs> Keeping on the outside edge for the, for the extra rollover, mm -hmm. you'll be working on the outside of the wheel probably because okay. it's most controllable then with you wheeling from the edge into the centre, then from the, cent uh, from, the cent from the beginning of the curve into the edge again. Okay. But I'm just pointing these things out for you so you can get comfortable. If you want to wheel inside the wheel, you go ahead. Okay. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. <coughs> I 
so to get the feel of me and you working together. Come in a little closer, understand a little up. You won't have to hold it in the centre anymore. You can now hold it on the edge. <coughs> I'm going to be tracking as it comes towards me. I'm going to be tracking it close when it goes towards you. You're going to be keeping it close on the track because I can't see. Okay. I can't control your end and you can't control my end. Yeah. Okay? So we're just going to come back in. Comfortable? to the edges. So what do you feel more comfortable doing it on your own or do you prefer with me? Now you can see we don't have too much shape going in, just a little bit. As you hold your sides in, if you hold these two down, you'll see exactly how much shape we've got because the flat of the panel, the more crown that comes up. The more you allow the panel to bend like this, the flatter it goes. So we're holding it fairly flat. I feel the panel. You can feel whether or not we've got too many ribs or not many ribs. And so, because we're doing such a shallow shape, and as English wheels generally go, that half thou oscillation in the wheel, I'm going to change the position of the wheel. So now the oscillation will be very slight, different. Every single wheel does it. Z, get with the program, buddy. So what I'm going to do now is turn the panel around and you come in and you're going to... Ready? We've got to stay off the edge. Just relax. All the way to the end. We've got a bit of dirt or something on the wheel here. Did you hear that boom boom? Yeah. It was right in here. I just got rid of it. Okay. Ready? Just relax. Try not to fight me. I'm just going backwards and forwards. Try not to drop too much on your end. Notice how I've got mine fairly coming out fairly flat and straight. You need to be doing very similar. <laughs> 